Now, of course, Gemini Wing was in the uh, not Codemasters directory. Which I suppose is technically right, but it's still, still dumb. Which is like most things uh, bloody millennials do. <laughs> Remember, millennials were born in uh, 1990. Right, so obviously I tested it to make sure it's the same version that I played before. So, um, I'm going to title pages, all right. Um, for some reason, uh, I haven't gone with, uh, oh, they have gone with two shades of green. Yeah. I probably should have gone with green and light green and uh, very light grey rather than light green green and uh, dark grey which is not actually that dark on the C64 so this is by Virgin Mastertronic well the sales curve and I knew it was the right one when it comes up with enable or disable fast loader so, obviously, I'm going to have a trained game. Um, I'm going to say no to these, because uh, otherwise you can't collect weapon power-ups. Yeah, yeah. One hit to kill any end opponent. Atari children's levels. Again, Atari were the pioneers, mate. They're pioneers. Uh, play the game. I don't want to see the ending. Right. Now, of course, there's Zeta Wing if you want to go and buy that. Um, but uh, I'm still playing through the uh, the games that the pirates uh, cracked wide open and destroyed the home computer market so it's my duty to play these games now now when I run out of games I might buy some new ones and uh, some of that Oh yeah, well I don't think I would have made that. Ah uh, no, you can see the bullets disappearing. Mad Commodore, are you trying to cheat out of uh, proper gameplay? Well, I'm not trying to like, you know, defeat the game or nothing. I just want to try the game right. So that one takes a lot of hits. Um, yeah, see, they've used a set of colours that don't really go well what they're doing actually the green over brown is probably not a good idea but uh, I suppose they have to do whatever you know the coin op is trying to draw and there's only so many you know particular colors you can use Yeah, I'll just press the fire button. Yeah, so that's super blocky. Alright, so I picked up these, uh, you know, special weapons. Mr. Wimpy, Mr. Wimpy. I actually didn't load anything new, that's... Uh... So it's quite an impressive piece of coding by Magic Head, I have to say. It's just uh, their colour choices are very bad. Yeah, no. Uh, probably should be more blue going on instead of green aliens over a green and uh, light green background. I don't think turning up the colour would actually help. I don't want to mess about with the settings on the old uh, TV anyway. The sun's coming out now, so I guess it stops snowing. Now I think it has actually. 
but not much of a snow anyway. Yeah, it plays really well actually, but uh, you'd be losing lives left, right and centre because uh, the background is just too green with the green aliens. Yeah, one hit wonder, there we go, one hit wonder. Jones, you shouldn't pick a fight with your boxes stacked up. Now we're going to get the uh, sun coming through. So yeah, I mean, uh, it's not a 10 out of 10. I think the colour choices are very weird. What are you doing, bud? Bud D. Go in front of the camera, we need more subscribers. Not really. I don't know what's going on with him. Yeah, that's glitching up there. What's going on with that? Ah, uh, probably because you can't hit anything. Right, okay. That's a knockoff of uh, Vanguard, obviously, from like, you know, 10 years earlier. 40 years in total. Wow, yeah, slow down, man. That's not great. There are games like this that don't have slow down. Actually, Swiv is one. Oh, I could have done Swiv. I don't know why I'm doing this. So. Is that meant to be happening like that, or is that the, that probably is meant to be happening? Yeah, it's not great. I wonder what the Amiga version is like. We didn't have to load anything new there, so... Uh, I saw a clip of something called the uh, Commander 16 or whatever. No, no, don't do that, buddy. No, 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 no. The camera doesn't, <laughs> doesn't want your stink. Uh, and it's uh, by 8-Bit Goitz, designed by him, but uh, apparently the case being done by that Retro Recipes dude Hey, great, go for it, make it, whatever it is. However, I haven't checked out the specs of whatever that thing is, and um, as far as these machines go, you know, they really need to be natively designed to control the electron gun in a CRT tube of a TV. And uh, that's really... And the thing about 8-bit machines is you actually have, you know, hardware logic that draws the sprites, for example. You can't, you can't flash an update to the sprites on the C64 to get more. Or even a real C64, actually. Um, yeah, this is better. This is how it should be most of the time. You should be able to see everything. fired off a lot of special weapons so so yeah you know the, the thing with 8-bit machines is you know you've got an analog synthesizer but you've only got a global volume control for all the channels and you know you've only got one filter for all the channels whereas an analog synthesizer would have uh, you know individual volume and uh, you know filter functions and a sine wave oscillator, but you can get around the sine wave oscillator. Triangle and sine wave is, is close, so you can use your filters and... Uh... So yeah, I just don't see the point in things like that. 
Now, I mean, the C64 and the Spectrum Next and all that exist. Uh, well, not the Spectrum Next, the other one. The, the Spectrum Recreated, was it called? That thing. Uh, because there's loads of uh, C64 and Spectrum games. Dude, guys. I was going to make a comment here, but you know. So it actually plays really well, it's really well coded actually. So yeah, you know, it's like, doesn't mean anything to me. Why would you write games for this thing? Just carry on writing, uh, you know, retro games for like, you know, Windows or whatever. The easiest way, I presume. So the animation is quite good actually. The graphics themselves could be better. Yeah, you can actually blow a, a path through them temporarily. Oh, nice no, troublemaker. Right, the weird glitching up you see on the screen is uh, something my TV does randomly with certain combinations of pixels. Yeah, they take quite a lot of hits. Or whatever it was, I hit it before it could come out and it... So, uh, you know, I think uh, the early levels is too difficult to see. You know, the aliens going over the backgrounds. Those, those choices are just terrible, so... You can argue all you want that, you know, the arcade looks a certain way, but if it makes it unplayable, then uh, on the C64 with, you know, the palette facilities that you got, then I'm sorry, it's a bad choice. I suppose I could turn the colour up. I, I don't know what's going on with this glitching. Is that... No, where the character blocks appear. That's a bit weird. So it's a nice game actually, but um, maybe a slightly glitched copy I've got. And uh, you know, the earlier levels it is difficult to see what the hell is going on. Perhaps someone could tell me what the hell is going on. No, I don't think it sounded like that. Ah uh, no, see uh, jam and spoons here has uh, fucking moved the boxes, is not it? Tit, we should call you Tit's land, innit? Oh, no, this one's actually got stuff in it. So she's going to do a video about it. Uh, we'll shove that line there. No, that doesn't really help the situation too much. Yeah, basically we're screwed for some time. Yeah. He's too early. Annoyingly, the clouds are covering the sky on the other side of the house. She's making the TV screen look a bit you know, dark on the camera, I think. Ah, no, no, Boot, you can't come in, mate. The one you want to kill is in here at the moment. And there's no killing a lad in this house. Right, except with uh, antiviral or antibacterial sprays on the dirty virus. And I did actually catch a bit of the news this morning. And uh, I've got no more to say about that, so uh, I have to move on now. God damn it, I can't remember which international karate I loaded up last time. I think there's the one on the top. Whatever appears on the top. Might not play it, but I would like to see the graphics again. Which is a good place to 